Alright guys, we are back on criminal case, case 51, it all ends here, so let's unlock chapter 4. Ladies and gentlemen, the election results are in. The battle was fierce, but the party has emerged victorious. It gives a great pleasure to announce that our new mayor is... Hold it. Hold it. Now. Howard Johnson, I knew it! Well done, my son. I'm proud of you. Oh, I'd be hoping Mrs. Rice would win. I voted for her. And you were right to do so, Mr. Policeman. But do not worry, the blue party will still be there to fight every decision taken by this so-called mayor. Dear townspeople, I, Howard Johnson, am extremely honored to have been re-elected mayor of Grimsboro. Together with the Red Party, we'll pave the way to a better city, a safer city. Katrina, a word please. I know I'm currently not in a position of power, but I want to make sure you did not forget your duty. Now that Howard Johnson has been re-elected, it is more crucial that, than ever to figure out who dared kill, dared kill the Adam in his square headquarters. I'm counting on you to close this case quickly. I'm counting on you to close this case quickly. Easier said, said that to done. I'm sure Howard will be even less co cooperative cooperate than before, and honestly, I'm at a loss, loss for where to search next. Mitch Catherine, if I may, I'll catch your missing right-handed suspects. Howard and Martha both fit that criteria. And uh, Mr. Poole is also right-handed, and, and is Mrs. Johnson, and that's about it. Progress finally. Good idea, Catherine. Let's have a look around the election stand. Let's crack this case once and for all. Heck yeah, let's go. You're right handed, right handed, right handed, and you too. Alright, chapter 4. Let's use some energy and let's go to guest tables. Alright, what do we have here? Liberty Bell, where's that? Oh, got it. Uh, potato chips. Right here, the uh, projection screen. It's here, uh, apple pie. There, rabbit. Where are you, rabbit? Oh, there you are. And more paper. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, got it. Okay, what have you found, doggy? Just 1,000 coins. Hmm, this must be just an acceptance switch, but why would he tear it to shreds? You'd think he'd frame it or something. Can we put this bitch back together, Katrina? Every second counts. Heck yeah! I'm extremely honored to have been elected mayor of Greensboro. Together with the blue party, we'll pay the way to a better city, a safer city. What the? This is exactly the speech Howard read, but the winner's day and the party's color have been changed. No, you can't be right, Katarina. I mean, I know politicians often share the same ideas. Martin Howard were on different sides. Their campaigns were... Well, it was pretty much the same thing said in different ways. Martin was for good values and security. Howard against corruption and crime. But Katarina, it can't be. The two parties were working together. I can't believe this. We can talk to those two liars right now. Let's go, Katarina. Heck yeah, let's go. And I need stars, so see you a little bit. Alright, I collected two stars, so let's first talk to Marta. 
Oh, here come to rub my defeat in my face, Mitch Katarina. I'm really not in the mood. We know everything, Martha. Mitch Katarina has found the speech. We know you and Joss have been working together. Now, don't be, don't be ridiculous. You're blowing this all out of proper proportion. I unknowingly hired the same speech consultant as Howard, that's all. <coughs> Sorry guys, uh, that was why I thought you could just write a field gap speech and get paid twice for it. When I learned about this, I fired him on the spot. Things like this are the reason I got I go to the shooting range every week. You know, politics are a constant warfare. Actually, shooting is the only thing that helps me unwind. Look, Mage Katrina, I swear to you, I had nothing to do with this speech or with Mr. Bentley's death. I give you my word of honor. Okay, you're suspicious. I hate politicians. Ah, uh, Katarina, we need to keep busy. Else I'll just have to hit something. What should we do next? You want to get back to the hotel lobby? Good idea. Adam might have let us file clue to his work. There. Okay, uh, what should we do? Don't cover the investigate reception desk. Okay, well, let's go to the reception desk. Let's get these blood samples to the lab, Katarina. Twelve hours, so come on. Okay, I need one more star to talk to Howard, so see you a little bit. Alright, let's talk to Howard. Ah, oh, Mitch Katarina, it's kind of you to come congratulate me. This has been a grand victory, indeed, but... We are not here to congratulate you, Mr. Mayor. We are we are here to get answers. Why was Martin Price's name written on your speech? Where did you? I tore the one up. How did you get back? Uh, look, this is nothing. I got two versions of the speech. One with my name and one with Martha's. I don't know how it happened. Really? You're sure it's not because you and Martha are working together? Did that find out, Mr. Mayor? Is that why you killed him? K kill him? I will never do that. I have nothing to do with Adam's death, Mitch Katrina. You have to believe me. Please, Mitch Katrina. I'll do anything to convince you. Have another look at my offices. You'll see I'm innocent. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Mayor. Such your offices is exactly what we intend to do. Heck yeah. I need energy. Let's waste another burger. Liberty, Google hat. Or 
where's that? Where's that? It's here. No, it's not briefcase. Uh, sorry. Uh, plain plastic bottle. Adam's murder. Good point, Katarina. Maybe your extra hands could collect something from those bills to solve that mystery. Alright, I need a star, so see you a little bit. I have stars, so I take seven dollar bills. Originally on your crime scene before it ended up in the hotel lobby, but but it can't have gotten there on its own. Still so deduction, Jones, and because the blood on the bubble head isn't Adam's, so I'm guessing he's gonna pick it up, probably hoping to dispose of it later on. I don't know how they hurt themselves, but the result is the same. The girl left their own blood on that bubble head. The government played havoc on the, on the clarity of the sample, but I was at least able to determine Adam's killer's blood type. And it's A+. Plus. Great, Katarina, let's add this to our killer's profile. An A+, plus blood type should help us trim our list of suspects a little. Heck yeah! Almost there to arrest killer in the last case. But now let's get results from Molecule. Several blood from Darbus found in the headquarters turned out to be a mix of saliva and epithel epithelial tissue, Katarina. In other words, skin cells. Was this separate too, but I'm not even custom. The saliva of the Darbus belongs to Adam Badley. My guess is that he cut the pills, licking his fingers to flip through them. So the money was given to Adam, but there were thousands of dollars in that pile. Katarina, do you think I have discovered Johnson's and Martha's shared election speech? Could he have tried to blackmail them? Here's some to help. The epithelial tissue on those bills didn't belong to Adam, which means they were left by the person who gave the money to Adam, by his killer. And because I know every minute counts, I went straight for the kill. Adam's killer is a male. Okay, we got everything we need. Everything we need. That's it, Katarina. We will finally have all the evidence we need to arrest Adam's killer. No, 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 don't tell me who did it. I want to see if my hunch was right. Let's go arrest him, Katarina. Alright. Last killer. And we got a more than a five suspects. That's not original. Okay. Nope. 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 Yes. Nope. Nope. I can't believe this. What did you do, boss? I can't believe that the boss is a killer. I'm in shock. Katarina, I don't understand why you take us to King's office. I thought we were going to arrest Adam's killer. No! No, you can't mean... No, Katarina, you must be wrong. Sheep people have never killed Adam. You've got it wrong. Unfortunately, Major Katarina's right. I killed Adam Bentley. No, I refuse to believe this. Why would you do this? Adam would have never harmed the mayor. 
Oh, George, you haven't understood a thing, have you? This had nothing to do with the mail. Then why'd you do it? Chief answer us. Sorry, but no. You have to find your own answers, Mitch Katrina. Then you have to talk to the judge. He'll have to explain what happened. I'm sorry, Alma. No! No! What are you doing? Put, put that gun down, Chief, please! You are saying why, I'm, why am I doing this in time? I have no other choice. No! Of course you have a choice. There's always a choice. Sheep, please put the gun down. Put the gun down! Goodbye, Mitch Katarina. Walking with you has been a great horror. No! No! The sheep is dead! Thank. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. He killed himself. We're gonna find out later in the additional investigation, guys. So we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in the next, in the additional investigation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video. This is so exciting. And I'll see you again. Goodbye.